<laughs> okay, let's get back to my tough love. And I bring this up because I hear it from new teachers all the time. I just hear it from everyone. Some of you have asked about it. Other people that I meet in other groups have asked about it. No one cares about your logo or the design of your website. A website does not make a sale. And it's so easy to get involved with this and ignore all the stuff that you should be doing and you should be focused on. So let's talk about what does make a sale. Targeted messaging, good copy that points out the specific problems that you can solve for your student. This is all stuff we just talked about. A vibrant, detailed explanation of the transformation or how you can make your student's life better. And this is the biggest one, building a relationship with your potential student, whether that's through consistent weekly or more emails, social media posts, other personal interactions, setting up time just to speak with them. That's what makes a sale, not a logo, not the font, not the colors, not the design. Stop worrying about having a pretty website. When you're just starting out, and I tell you this because it's easy to use these things as an excuse. We focus on these so that we can procrastinate and not get to the real work of getting, of learning how to teach, getting experience, and getting the word out about our services. Aesthetics matter for some professions. If you're selling fashion or photography, it matters. But for speech improvement, it just doesn't matter all that much. And when you make a little bit of a profit, if you want to spend some time and money to make your website pretty, by all means, do it. But when you're starting out, you need to worry more about your ad copy, your lead magnet, and your email sequences. And if you're going to spend any money, I say spend your budget on advertising. Spend it on ads. That's what brings in consistent enrollments and sales. All right. So I know, I know when I first started, I must have spent six months worrying about the color on my website when I started. It was such a waste of time. Nowadays, a lot of people don't even have a website and they use Instagram only along with Linktree and that's their website. So that's not something I suggest. I do think having a website and a blog does help, but tons of people don't. They just have Instagram, the link tree, and then they communicate with their potential students or their customers that way. Just remember, it's the content and the message that you're putting out that makes the sale. It's not design and it's not aesthetics. Keep that in mind. So on your website, when you're just starting out, this is what you really need. So if you're, if you're overwhelmed and you feel like I can't get this done and there's too much to do, these are the basics. If you can just get these up and running, you'll be good to go. You need a homepage with clear, specific call to action, pain points, benefits, and the transformation that you can offer. And if that sounds like another language to some of you who are here for the first time, it's all in the marketing module. It'll make sense. You need a blog with some good, free preferably video lessons to showcase your teaching style. You need a decent, notice I say decent, not perfect lead magnet, which you will tweak and improve as you get feedback and more experience. So get it up and running. It's so easy to tweak it. The hard part is getting it up. It's not going to be perfect the first time. I promise you, you're going to look back at it and think, oh, wow, that really wasn't great, but you have to start somewhere. And if you don't get it up, you're not going to get feedback from people who see it. And, and you're not going to have the experience of creating it, get it done, get it up. You can change it. Nothing is set in stone. You need an opt-in form or an opt-in page for people to download your lead magnet and sign up for your email list. And you need a really good email welcome sequence which you will continue to tweak and refine for as long as you are in business. And I think some of you in the Facebook group, I don't know if it was a month ago or two months ago, I was going through my sequence again, making changes. And I said the same thing. It's so much easier to refine it than it was to write it. And it's so much better now than it was six months ago. So know that it's a process and you don't just get that email sequence up and then forget about it. You should revisit it, refine it for as long as you are in business. 
as I said, I walk you through all of this inside the course. So definitely uh, check out the marketing section. There's also, I'm not going to go into a sales page today, but there's also a sales page template. So sales page is, is where you sell your product or service. And um, for me, the one that I posted is selling my online course, but it's a good template to use. It's a bonus lesson and it's in module three of the marketing section. So be sure to check that out as well. But since we're focusing on copy today and writing, that might give you some other ideas of how to structure things. All right.